Our heavy track systems are designed to span gaps. The length of the gap you can span is dependent on the track capacity chart, which is engineered and supplied with all our HT systems. Please keep in mind that when spanning a gap, the track connection joint must be supported at all times. The track capacity chart can be found in your operating manual. It's also available online through our website. The track capacity chart can be found right before the general arrangement drawings. An example using the track capacity chart would be, say you're using your HT500 skidding system to move a 200 ton transformer onto its containment pad. Uh, to figure out the safe gap you can span, uh, you would take your total load, which in this case 200 tons, which would be 400,000 pounds. You would divide that by four, which is the number of skid shoes you'd be using. So your load per skid shoe would be 100,000 pounds. So you'd read, look at, find your 100,000 pound marker on your capacity, read over till you hit the line, and then see what line that intersects with on your x-axis, which would be six feet. So you'd be able to safely span a six foot gap with your HT500 system sliding a 200 ton transformer. An example using your HT300 skidding system in metric could be you're offloading a vessel from a trailer and you're needing to span a gap there. Uh, let's say the load that you're offloading is 140 metric tons, which would be 140,000 kilograms. You would divide the 140,000 kilograms by the number of skid shoes again, which is four. So that would be 35,000 kilograms. So you'd look at, find your 35,000 kilogram on your um, skid shoe load axis, read over till you hit the curve, and then read down what that safe span gap would be, which would be 1.75 meters you could safely span.